So were you a fan <laughs> of the show prior to joining the cast? I have to be honest. I wouldn't say I was a fan of the show, but I was, you know, supportive of the show. I didn't watch the show in full episodes, but I knew enough of like, you know, what pops up on the YouTube, Google feed, you know, news, Yahoo news, stuff like that, that popped up. And then like, you know, blogs, they report on the show. So, you know, Shade Room and all these other Bravo shows, like, you know, I, I can get a gist of what's going on. Awesome. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you did you have a strategy going in like, all right, I'm about to be around all these ladies. Did you come up with things or were you just what you what was your plan? I went in I went in blindsided and willy nilly like I didn't I didn't do enough research. And I remember Toya was like, you need to do your research. But like I just felt like if I did, I probably was not going to do go into it. So um, I just figured, you know, I kind of took I kind of took it like like me going being back in basic training again, I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but I just had to go through it, you know, just to say I did it, you know, because it was a one in a lifetime opportunity. And um, I just decided to try it out. I'm glad you did, because it's certainly it's been a fun time watching you interact with these ladies. Um, when do you think the quad comparisons will stop? Oh, my gosh. I think they're always just going to be there. You know, I think they're always just going to be there. Um but, you know, I know who I am. I know what I stand for. And, you know, you know, I think that people are always, people are always going to talk. I'm never going to be able to shut them up. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. Um, what do you have a relationship with Quad at all at this time or? Just no, no, it's non-existent. Um, but, you know, like. I, I didn't really know her before the show and I still kind of feel like I don't know her, but you know, um, but she's probably, probably within the, I, I don't know. I think that if you count on all the conversations that we've had, you probably can say it was maybe a total of like five minutes or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it was not a lot. So it's just like, I'm surprised that she has a lot to say about me. It's just like, okay, I, I don't know her. <laughs> Funny how that works isn't it. <laughs> right um, right who are you closest to in the cast I would say right now um I really like Dr. Simone Toya and Alicia you know and Phaedra I talked to Phaedra too I think me and Phaedra we do we do vibe we definitely vibe, vibe being two southern girls and we like to joke around you know I think that she got a little country in her that's like me <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to have a little country in you right <laughs> right right <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of, um, you know, closeness, I know your relationship with Dr. Heavenly went left before the wedding. Um, where where do y'all stand now? Um, me and Heavenly do not have a relationship. I think she's trolling me right now. And, you know, I don't even know why it's for no reason. She actually sent me a text on her birthday like two weeks ago. It was like, I love you. You're smart. You're intelligent. Remember, I said that I'm making you a star. I'm like, okay, I didn't respond. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just like it's just it's just interesting, and they she just she just bashing me every day. You know, it's like okay, <laughs> right? If this yeah. is what it is, you know, to be a star. Do I want it? <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just like you know, I think that you know she can go about things a different way. And I think that it's also a tactic that she's doing, like hazing me. And I think that she uh, is trying to deviate from what's going on in her own life, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> that would make sense. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. um, let's get to the fun stuff. How is newlywed life treating you? It is great. It's great to be able to come home to someone that loves you, wants you around, needs you, and someone that's affectionate, funny. You know, it just it feels great to just have a man and then knowing that you're safe in his arms and someone's going to provide for you, protect you. It's the bomb. <laughs> just definitely being by yourself for a while and being single for a minute. Like, it feels good to have someone that got your back. <laughs> That's so wonderful. I'm so happy for you. When did you know he was the one? Well, I knew that he was the one when we first met um, the first week. We first met uh, back in 2020 and we had a whole weekend date. We talked about marriage. We talked about love. We talked about kids, uh, where we're going to live and all that kind of stuff. And 
you know, afterwards, like Gregory just made me feel comfortable being in, around in his presence. Like it, it, it was kind of like a familiar feeling where, you know, even if you had that awkward silence, like I just felt comfortable being around him. Like, you know, we're both twins, you know, maybe it has something to do with us just being twins, being in a womb with someone. And um, he just made me feel so like warm and comfortable. And I knew when I got back on that plane, going back home, this is it. This is the one. This is my husband. I knew it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And, you know, I think Phaedra said it really well, you know, watching uh, in the episode, she said, you know, Greg looks so happy. He's the happiest I've ever seen him. He looks settled. And so I'm glad that y'all are able to find that kind of love with each other. Um, now, you made what I interpreted to be a joke um, about Mr. Uh, Dr. G's money and some of those ladies ran with it. Right. Um, so what do you have to say to the people who think you're only with him for his money? I think that um, it's funny because like. I am one of the, in the top 10% of black women that make six figures. And um, these women, they know that, you know what I'm saying? They know that, but I don't know. I don't know maybe they just wanted to run with it for whatever reason, for a storyline, I guess to make fun of me. But, um, you know, I have my own resources. I was a veteran in the Air Force. Um, I went on active duty. I worked in the intelligence field before moving here. Um, I'm all into philanthropy. Like, you know, like they know my character and it's just like funny that they just ran with that. And, um, you know, but what's wrong with uh, have you, having your own resources? Why not get more? Why not be with your partner and you guys put your resources together and you guys build on that. We're trying to have a family and we, we have talked about where we want to go, um, building, um, generational wealth for our kids. Why not get more together? You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, I help Gregory in his office at times. I go and work if he needs me. You know, it's just like these women know my character. So if they want to call me a gold digger or a gold digger, go ahead. It don't bother us. We know who we are. Good. I love that. Yeah. Stay true to yourselves. Don't block it out. Just block it out. <laughs> um, <Right. laughs> um, I do have one more question because uh, there are, there was a lot of talk. I know you and Dr. Heavenly had that conversation about um, how Dr. G can sometimes be controlling. Um, what would you say to the people? Cause I know some fans kind of agree with that. Um, what would you say to them about who think they, he, that he is too controlling? Well, I was speaking to a specific situation that I was upset about and confiding in a friend. I was confiding in her and just sharing something. Plus we were drinking. So of course, like at the time, like my feelings are a little heightened at the moment. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say a lot of things that they don't particularly mean, but they're just upset. And, um, you know, we are just learning about each other. And I think that whenever you're in a relationship, you're going to have conflict, you're going to have issues. It's just a matter of how you guys are going to work through that conflict and resolve those issues. That's what marriage is about. And, you know, in our relationship, we don't move backward. We move forward. Beautiful. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. And I'm so happy for the both of y'all looking forward to see some babies on pop up on the show. You know, we love a cute baby here. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. When, oh, my when gosh. Are, when are you ready to have a bun in the oven? I'm ready now. We're actively <laughs> trying. To, and, you know, my nephew, he actually came out for the summer. So I was like, babe, this is going to be this is a test right here. Let's, you know, let's get used to this. And my nephew, he's three. And he loves Uncle G. He loves his TT. And, you know, he was giving us some run for our money. I'm like, this is going to be like our life, you know. But we really enjoyed having my nephew here for a week, just spending time with us. And we are actively trying to have a baby. And we will be blessed with any, 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 any baby, any, whether it be boy or girl that God will bless us with. Awesome. I Well, I'm hoping for the best for y'all. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.